Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work and today we have a review of the ZTE Blade V8 Pro. So let's start the video, show you what I'm talking about. Pow. Alright guys, so we have the ZTE Blade V8 Pro Snapdragon 625, a 5.5 inch display. I will have the specs down below if you guys are interested in more of the spec review of it but i'm not here to tell you that so as far as design we do have the nice little metal edges on the side um it does remind me of the hcc m8 m9 iphone 6 no 5 all combined into one so it does have a nice grip to it if you're trying to hold it on the side with the metal railing that it has right here um as far as the power button it's at the perfect spot um, it's right here, so it's easy to you know, actually turn it on and off. The back does not like grease, doesn't like your sweat because it will definitely show. But positive is that you know, saying if you scratch it, I'm saying you won't really care about it. So there's no accessories for the phone right now because a lot of it is actually backdated up to um, up to March and April. But I can say right now that I'm not sure how long this actually logo will actually last on a material like this, and I'm starting to see. A little bit of wrinkling right over here um it's really hard to see in the camera but it's very very grippy so it's not it's not easy to drop this at all um you do have a a nice flush camera so it's like a lot of phones out here they don't have flush cameras i don't understand why they have to have a have a camera bump but it's a really nice design to that part um as far as the camera itself the camera is pretty on point so as far as the actual modes that they give you so you have video and you have photo and you have the dual camera mode and it does actually have like the bokeh effect right there and you also have the monocolor and you have the monochrome um it's almost like a black and white photo um and like a little bit of blurring in the back and then for that one it's pretty much like if you want to highlight one actual color of the Thing that you're actually taking a picture of so let me just do an example I need something pretty bright okay so let's just do a box okay so here's the box itself so let's go to monocolor um, as far as you can see through there you see how it's only highlighting like the blue so we got the blue 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 and if you want to change that to green it'll get the green if you want to change that to red it'll highlight just the red and I guess my sweat glands is red or my blood whatever all right so it's actually customizable like that um you do also have the bokeh mode which i can honestly say in my opinion is better than the iphone 7 portrait mode i'll be 100 percent honest with you here um it's pretty hard to have anything because i have a white table so let's just add some stuff in the background and let's start the test how this definitely works is, is that you know, so how you're able to actually refocus and actually pick like the blur level, right? And I could tap to refocus and I could pick like the main focus point I actually need it to be. So it's a little bit too close, so it's really hard. So the higher you get, um, it's the more actual blur level that you get. Um, and a tap to focus thing is pretty good. So I just wanna show you an example of the blur mode in effect. So I have my iPhone 7 right here. I'm gonna blur it out like the background right there. So here's an example of the actual photo quality that it actually brings. So it's nice and crisp in this shot right here. Now, as far as the booking mode, I'm heading to that right now. So as you can see from right there, it's nice and blurred out. It's still nice and crispy in the middle, which is pretty damn good to be honest with you. Now, as far as the battery life, the battery life has been really solid for me. I've not had a day at work where, I, where I'm outside for almost 11 hours where I have to charge this thing. So this thing is definitely a one day phone. If you're just on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that I miss all in one day, it will actually last you pretty well unless you watch movies at work. Then that's probably a different story. But it has been getting me at least six to seven to eight hours of screen on time now um as far as the gaming right i have played one or two games on it 
um, I've not had any hiccups, but the one thing that I like about it is that it doesn't get warm when you play games because this back has a cool touch to it. So as far as a fingerprint scanner, I can say that the fingerprint scanner is definitely on point. Um, I believe the only problem that I see with that is that you have to press the button. Um, and sometimes it doesn't work like that. So you have to be... So you gotta just turn it around and then you gotta press it down and then hopefully it turns on. I could say it's about 98%. Um, and I do have it on both fingers. Um, it does have a suck up sometimes to where if you're, um, if your finger's wet, sometimes it doesn't really work well. So I just wanted to show you guys if you're able to actually take the same print twice. See, you can't really do that. So you have to get it perfectly on the first time because if you don't, um, it's not going to really catch it. So it would be nice to actually set up your fingerprint actually more than one time on the same fingerprint because now it'll be way more easier to actually turn it on with no problems because now you're going to get every single print three or four times on that one finger. So a lot of people have been having issues with the speaker. So I just want to show you an example of some music. All right. So let's play something. Oh, yeah, right. And the buttons over here. Um, it's not bad at all, but it's kind of it's kind of hidden. So. I mean, like, I don't know, it has this negative and positive about that because now it's kind of hidden, so I don't see like a little arrow here or a, like a little menu button here. All right, so let's just play a song right here. Let's play the um, A Boogie. Let's play Ransom. Okay, so we have that. So let's just play it on the other phone. Let's play it on this one. Let's see how it sounds. On the iPhone 7, by the way. Almost six to seven hundred dollars more expensive. Here's the iPhone. Okay, so it's pretty loud on the iPhone 7. Let's see how this one sounds. All right. Okay, so it's entirely up to you. Honestly, I don't think the speaker is that bad at all. I think it's doable. I think it's on the wrong side. It's only one, by the way. Um, and the other one is just there for show, or whatever. But uh, it's pretty solid. I mean, it's it's not loud, but if you want to watch a YouTube video, I'm saying all of us are gonna cuff it. Two hundred thirty dollars. This phone is definitely worth it. There's nothing wrong, in my opinion, about this phone. Maybe like the front facing camera is not is not like the greatest, but it's very, very good. I mean, it's pretty solid, you know. You know, I have a lot of um, iPhones, I have the Galaxies, I have the Notes and everything. So I could definitely compare it. Maybe like the Note 4 or like the Note 3 quality where it's good, but it needs a little bit more improvement. But as far as the phone itself, let's see exactly if I'm missing anything here. So we covered the speaker and the fingerprint scanner and how nice the actual screen looks. I mean, the overall feel in the hand is pretty good. The camera is solid. This is just a really solid phone. Now, I did actually buy the Axon 7 Mini and I could definitely say from this phone to that one, there's no question that this phone kills that one. But I will have more coverage on the Axon 7 Mini. So that's about it for the video, guys. Oh, yeah. And we do have fast charging and the USB Type-C, which I could definitely appreciate. You see how they put the Type-C in this phone, even though it's only 230 bucks. That's awesome. All right. All right, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And follow Phone Tech at Work for more videos like this of the ZTE Blade V8 Pro maybe an iPhone 7. So, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and follow Phone Tech at Work for more videos like this of the ZTE Blade VA Pro and more tech to come. So, until the next video, peace.